We visited Salem in July of 2016. Salem was settled in 1626 by a group of immigrants from Cape Ann, Massachusetts. Salem is derived from the Hebrew name for peace. This village was built in 1930. It celebrated the 300 year anniversary of Salem. The two actors did a very good job. As usual, I said the wrong thing at the wrong time. Charlotte got in the spirit of things. What is your name? Mercy Lawrence. Good to meet you, sir. And uh, when were you born? I was born in 1776. 1776? Indeed, I was. So you're. I about age the well. age of, I age well, uh, of the witch trials, huh? Around the age, yes. Indeed. You weren't accused of anything. Oh, of course not. I have, I've never been accused of such a thing. This is the party house from Hocus Pocus. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Okay. The chandeliers inside that building are from Lafayette. They had the fanciest of all the fancy balls. That's where everything, everything, everything went on. This is where the richest of the rich lived. They wanted away from the stinky harbor, they wanted away from the common people, and they bought this huge, huge area off one person. And the only deal was you have to make a wide street and a straight street. And it's still, in the winter time, they actually, in the recreation of that ball, I don't get invited. But I don't look good in a ball gown, so it's just fine with me. They, the story about that park across the way, remember you saw a park across the way? Okay, this is, now this I'm not 100% sure of, okay? This is one I'm not, but it, they do, they say that I do know there was a church there. That's a fact. There was a church there and supposedly a bolt of lightning hit the church. Okay, here's a little Bible study today. Judge not, least ye be. Come on, I need this. Judge not, least ye be. Amen, amen. Okay, you want to go in there? It's cheap, it's owned by the city, it's the direct ties. This house is the only surviving structure from 1692, the date of the Salem Witch Trials. It was owned by Jonathan Corwin, the Chief Magistrate of the Salem Witch Trials. Is that uh, uh, the reason why so many confessions come out of Ando, one would suppose, is because the, uh, the magistrates and legal authorities in Andover are just that much more effective at getting confessions out of people through and to the point where people who are getting arrested, their loved ones are saying, just confess, just confess and be done with it. Because if, oh please no video as well. These are copies of the original witch trial documents. This is me being excited. This is down, this is the center. This is the old burying ground. The cemetery dates to 1637. And I'm not interested in that. This is the Salem Witch Trial Museum uh, Memorial.
Here in the middle, and Derby Wharf there on the left. Now, Derby Wharf is the longest wharf that was built here in Salem. It extends roughly a half a mile or one kilometer out into the central harbor. I don't harbor. have any more seats. Oh, okay. Tide. Do you see this platform right here? High time the water comes crashing on a good day. That's my favorite day here. Crashing up on. And honestly, I'd take any one of these houses. How, how many people would like to live here with me? Yes! This is a good place to live. Go around the corner. I want you to look out the view here. Oh, by the way, do you see the... You see that stony thing sticking up mm -hmm. by the boats? Okay. In uh, what? Pirate hanging? No, that'd be a good one, though. I like that. <laughs> I could use that. I'll bring no, I don't lie. Um, well, I used to, but I don't anymore. Um, and I never lied on this. I tell you sometimes I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, in high tide, you just see this teeny little camp. That's what's so cool. I mean, it's no Bay of Fundy, but seriously, guys, it's, it's a real big drop. This Dead Horse Beach is another literal meaning, like the House of Seven Gables, Seven Gables, that's why it's House of Seven Winter Islands, because it doesn't freeze in the winter time, the water around it. Well, they had a big fire in Salem, a very big deal, 1914. No human life lost. One third of Salem, burnt, burnt right up to downtown. 26 horses would die because they were the ones pulling the water wagons. And the powers that be, oh, decided this is smart, we'll scoop out a big trench. Uh, across the way now, you saw Mountlehead first, now you're seeing Beverly, and that's Beverly's Gold Coast. The other thing impressive for... And this is Waikiki Beach, Winter Island, Salem, Maine. And there are no flesh-eating bacteria here. Why? Because it's 68 degrees. And yet we have folks that are playing in the water. This video was taken from Winter Harbor. The island hosted the Coast Guard during World War II. They were responsible for protecting the Boston area. This is the lighthouse at the entrance of Salem Harbor. There is a ferry that travels between Boston in Salem, it takes about 30 minutes. These folks were fishing at the time. This is a panoramic view of Marblehead, Massachusetts, which is a small town across the harbor from Salem. To my friends in Homa, this is not Cocodri, Louisiana. And I didn't see a one shrimp boat.
There appears to be hundreds of sailboats here. The RV park is right behind me. This was a great place to spend the night. The trolley that tours Salem also picks up visitors here at the RV campgrounds. That is cool.